some of the top TikTok trending ha- Oh my God. So close, but yet so far. Hi everyone and welcome back to Superdrug TV. I'm Lila Paul, your host for this week's fabulous episode. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Here's what we've got coming up today. Um, so I'm here to test out some of the viral hacks you may or may not have seen on TikTok. So I've got some products here and hopefully it's going to go smith. And we share the trending get ready TikTok hacks. Hi, I'm Charlotte and I do TikTok. <laughs> um, I mainly do makeup and skincare, but you might have seen some of my little rascals. Um, I do a lot of family content as well, but makeup is my passion. Um, so I'm here to test out some of the viral hacks you may or may not have seen on TikTok. I think all of these are gonna be new to me, so I wanna test out whether they work or not. So I've got some products here and some things, and hopefully it's gonna go smooth. <laughs> So first step, I'm gonna take the Revolution IRL Filter Foundation and we're gonna be using the little hack that you may or may not have seen where they put it in the water and scoop it back out. Apparently it's supposed to make your makeup go really dewy and I love a dewy base. On the hacks that I've seen, she does use a smaller brush but I'm gonna try it with this one and if it fails, we'll get a different... No, we're good. I, I, I've seen people and I see that it does actually look really good, but I just can't. It's going on really nicely because it's picked up some of the moisture that's obviously in the water, but not too much that it's like too much on your skin. Obviously I need to like kind of blend it in around my eyes, but I feel like that's given like a really nice base and I've got some dewiness here. So first hack, I'm giving, yeah, I'm giving that a eight out of 10. And it's easy, all you need is glass and a bit of water. So step two, we're gonna be taking the concealer, which is the Instant anti Eraser Concealer from Maybelline. And we're gonna be using it with this tiny little brush to create an invisible eyeliner. So I've seen people do this, it looks amazing. I don't know how easy it's gonna be, especially cause I've got hooded eyes, so I do tend to shy away from this, but, we're gonna give it a go, and then I'll let you know out of 10 whether I recommend. Okay, so step one. And then I'm going to just drag my eye out. Like I said, I've got hooded eyes. Hmm, could maybe do it a little bit further out. It'd be a bit more dramatic. Okay, so I feel like you can see it, but not very well. Again, because I've got hooded eyes and I feel like I do need to adapt it a little bit because I've got hooded eyes, but because um, eyeliner is not something I normally do, I don't know exactly how to do it with hooded eyes. So I definitely think I'm gonna do this again, but make sure I'm doing it for my eyes. I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. I think it would be like a nine if I had the right technique. Step three which is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. It's a foundation in a powder. However, we're gonna use this as a powder to set our face. I'm just gonna take a little brush and go in under all my oily parts and set my makeup. So I would normally do under my eyes and my T-zone um, and then just use it as something to stop that oil coming through. So I'm just gonna take like a little brush kind of to get in the crevices. Tap. Tap it in, don't drag, just tap. And set those oily areas around my nose as well. I always get really oily around my nose, I'm not sure why. And this is, it's really, really nice. It's quite blurring, it sits really nicely. Um, I always struggle with creasing. So I really like this. I would give this a eight out of 10. Um, and you can double it up as a powder or a foundation. The next step I'm a bit nervous about, but I've seen this. I think um, it went viral when Selena Gomez did it, where you put the mascara on the bottom lashes and you pinch it all together. It looks really cool. I can't promise you that I might not end up with it all over my face. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. Um, so I'm just using the Rimmel um, Wonder Volume Frill Seeker Mascara. So I've seen people do this two types of ways. So one where they put the um, tweezers on the mascara and then just pinch, and one when they actually put the mascara on the bottom lashes. So I thought maybe I could do one each. So I'm gonna try with just the tweezers first. So I'm literally gonna take my tweezers 
on the mascara. Again, don't know how much. Could be too much or too little. And I'm just gonna pinch some of my lashes together um, just to create that like spidery effect, you know? I've got quite a lot of lashes because obviously I get false lashes. So I feel like this dramatic look on the bottom will be quite good for me. Okay, so that was the way where I just literally put it on the mascara. Now I'm gonna take the other brush and do it on the other eye with putting it on the lashes, then pinching, and see which one I find easier. Right, okay, so lashes done. As you can see, they're looking quite full. Now I'm just gonna squeeze them together. Um, we're just gonna take a little section at a time. Okay, so that one, that actually, that way is not working out very well because I've already got stuff on here and they're sticking because there's mascara on there already. So I think I would actually rather go this side and use the tweezers, put the um, product on the tweezers and then squeeze. And I feel like that, that side, you can really tell a difference. Um, so yeah, I like the hack. It's amazing. I would definitely go with the first way I did it. So step five, is it? I've lost count. Um, we're gonna use a lip gloss, but instead of just doing a normal lip with the color, we're actually gonna add another product that we've previously used um, just to make it a little different. So we're going in with this Rimmel Lasting Provo? I'm not gonna try. Um, and it's got like a pinky kind of color, which is a really nice lip color, I think. So I'm gonna put that on my lips as you would normally, and then we're gonna add um, a bit of concealer in the middle just to like kind of enhance the lips and make them a little bit more plumpy, because who doesn't love a plumpy lip? As you can see, that's beautiful color. There we go, so we're just getting the base color and just blend that in. And then we're gonna take a bit of our concealer and I'm literally just gonna pat a bit on my fingers and I'm gonna put it in the center here and the center here and it's just gonna give it a bit of a different look. And in the middle out here, and we're just gonna blend. And see how that's just created a little bit of a different kind of um, two-tone color, I guess, where it's just a bit lighter in the middle. I feel like that's just a little bit different as well um, other than just putting like lip gloss on. I really like that hack and the way that's turned out. And those are all my hacks. So I think my favorite of all the hacks was the foundation in the glass because I really enjoyed that and I like the way it's sitting on my face. Thanks so much Superdrug TV and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Well, I'll definitely be giving those a try. Thanks Charlotte. We love a good hack here at Superdrug TV. So it's time to share some of the top TikTok trending hacks at the moment. <sighs> Such a tongue twister. Hi Superdrug TV, my name is Weam and I'm a TikTok creator. Superdrug TV has asked me to try out some of the trending TikTok hacks at the moment, so here we go. So the first TikTok hack I'm going to be trying is the concealer hack. You're supposed to take your concealer and draw it F underneath your eyes and then blend it out and it's supposed to kind of like sculpt out your nose and just give you a lifted look. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Do you guys like my hair? And then just blend. Do you guys just see the lift and then the sculpted nose? And I've been doing this hack for a very long time since I've seen it because I just love it. I tried it once and it works for me. So I've definitely tried this hack before and it will definitely be staying in my routine. So the next hack I'm going to be trying is the Kate Moss hack. So with this hack, you're supposed to take a bronzer and put it like underneath your cheekbones here. It's supposed to sculpt your face and make you look like Kate Moss. So we're going to see if that works out. So I'm going to be using the Revolution bronzer and then you're supposed to just take a tiny bit, not too much. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to take a tiny bit and just put it here and then blend that out with my finger. This hack is a yes from me because my cheeks look very much, you know, sculpted. So yeah, I'm loving this hack. Definitely gonna be using it again. So the next hack is the Vaseline and eye curler. Now this hack, I'm so excited to try because I've never done it before. So we're going to see if it works. And you're supposed to take your eyelash curler, take a bit of Vaseline, 
and then put the Vaseline onto the eyelash curler and it's supposed to give you an instant eyelash lift. Okay, I can definitely see the difference between this eye and this eye. Wow, I'm loving this hack. Okay, let's see the other side so it matches. Yeah, I'm loving it. I literally love it. This is it's definitely staying in my routine and it's definitely gonna be a thing I'm gonna be doing. Like when you want a no makeup makeup look, it's absolutely perfect for this. So the next hack I'm going to be trying out is the tape and eyeshadow look. So this is where you get tape and eyeshadow and then you use it to get a nice sharp eyeliner look. So for this look, we're going to be using this waterproof care tape and we're going to be using this Sahara Dunes eye palette and then you just take the tape and you literally place it on your eyes. I'm going to place it here and then I'm going to do the other side as well. That's enough. And then you get the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this color, I think. And you just draw it on. I'm hoping I'm doing it properly. Okay, moment of truth. That's one side done. Okay, this is nice. And then the next side. Wow. It's so sharp and that was so easy because drawing on eyeliner takes so long for me. Let me know what you guys think, but I really do like this hack. So this hack definitely is for me. Didn't take too long, literally took less than a minute to do and turned out quite nice. So yeah, I love this hack. Definitely be trying it again. My last hack is going to be the concealer and lipstick look. You're supposed to use a red or pink lipstick and then add concealer on top and it's supposed to give you this natural look. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline lipstick and the Maybelline concealer. So this is the lipstick, just gonna apply a bit. And then you're supposed to take the Maybelline concealer and put it on the out lines of your lips. Yeah, it's a no from me. I'm not a big fan of this one, but it looked really cute on the girls that tried it. So try it out still and let me know. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed these hacks. Let us know if it works for you in the comments below. Thanks, Superdrop TV. Bye. I swear I learned something new every day from TikTok. That's it for this week. This was my final episode and it's been so much fun. Don't forget to tune in next week where the lovely Liberty Pool will be your host. Bye guys, love you.